when you think about the broader state of the home market right now and, and where buyers are showing any interest at all, where are you seeing that shift towards where they are even deciding to enter back into the home buying equation? Yeah, that's right. The I think where home shoppers are still buying and still shopping is where they can afford to. And so geographically, that is looking like places in the Midwest, actually, places like Cleveland and Chicago, um, also more affordable markets in the Northeast, like Providence, Rhode Island. These are some of the markets that actually still have pretty strong price growth that showed up in the Case Shiller report today as well. Um, and then sort of in terms of home type, new construction in many ways is more affordable for a lot of today's buyers because builders have been offering very generous buy downs of those mortgage rates as a major concession to kind of make the mortgage math actually work for home buyers when they're looking at the existing home prices and running the numbers on mortgages and, and realizing with mortgage rates now up over 7% that, uh, that they often just can't make it work. So a lot of builders have been able to buy down those rates into the, uh, you know, the lower sixes or even into the 5% range. So that has really helped builders continue to sell some homes. I think what we saw this month, though, with that August data that just came out this morning is that even builders are being tested. Do they have enough margin to be able to work with to keep buying those rates down to a point that that makes the math work out for uh, for home buyers? So we did see uh, new construction sales take a step back last month. And the way things are going in September so far with that kind of hawkish Fed forecast and mortgage rates rising further up to flirting with seven and a half percent now, uh, even builders are really getting stretched in their ability to buy down those rates to an affordable level for home buyers right now. Jeff, do you think we'll see rates at eight percent, the 30 year mortgage? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I, I don't think we have that in the data right now. Um, Although I, I think if you kind of step back and look at the, you know, the revisions, uh, sort of the way the, the yield curve has stepped up and up and up over the course of the last year, if that continues to happen, if we get another few step ups like that, 8% um, is certainly in shooting distance. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, at the, at the moment, I, I don't see anything to kind of push us to that level. But Unfortunately, I, I really don't see anything in the data to point the other direction of much reason to expect rates to come down very quickly anytime soon. We're still digesting this four and a half percent 10 year treasury yield. Um, that's that's very high. That's going to uh, that, that's going to keep pushing those mortgage interest rates up, especially because we know that spread is very high right now. And it seems to be widening further the higher that treasury yields go.